for the night video. So, okay. Um, <clears throat> so tonight we try to uh, to do uh, a little bit of FFPE and hopefully finish uh, Nox uh, project. I mean, sorry, the Mimo project and hopefully get a little bit of gameplay of uh, Valkyrie uh, profile. Um, I'm not uh, so sure uh, how the Valkyrie profile would work on uh, on Mimo, but so far it seems a little bit slow. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or trials, challenges you want to see, uh, feel free to request that. If not, uh, basically I'm done with my dailies on FFB. Uh, we could start moving to Valkyrie profile. Okay, first of all, I'm totally fine with Valkyrie profile. My interest has more to do with uh, my own share in that I've tried to make a fun, easy share for my kids. That's why I have core up on my share. Mm. I'd be really interested to see with somebody who has way more TMRs than I could do. How high can you bring Core's attack? <laughs> I have to step away from a microphone for a few seconds because I have a quick bio, but I'd love to see how much higher you could bring Core than uh, 1300. Absolutely. Okay, um, I'll be right back. And, and by the way, mm. my Core is less than 1300 by a little bit, but he has double Demon Killer for the raid. So, and his uh, limit burst is really snappy and it would contend with most finishers we have if he was brought up to a limit burst. So, I would be really interested. I'll be back. Uh, I don't time. think I have core per se. <laughs> you uh, must. You must. I have like seven. He's a four. Uh, I, I usually clean up the list, <laughs> but, but okay, take, take your break and we'll okay. see what we can do. Okay, All right, guys. So I'll be right back. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much for listening to me. <laughs> I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> uh, Slade, welcome to uh, Dream. As uh, as you can see, um, we have a list of um, people who gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do polls, shouting their names before the poll. Um, we have a bunch of people that gonna go for that or for CG Nicole as uh, I decided may not go hard on CG Nicole uh, me I may start saving for uh, Heo uh, the only reason is I needed I need four Heos to make my team my dream team I guess Four Heos is not gonna be cheap. So basically, um, we need tons of TMR for, for that, right? Uh, TMR and Lapis and Tickets. Um, Nicole is a good, he is good, but I believe uh, by the time I will be, oh, I'm polling for, um, Polling for Heyo, I would have a chance to pull um, off banner uh, units and uh, cro fingers crossed to get Heyo. Um, as we know, the game um, uh, Oh yeah, awesome man, that's so rare. You know, so far I only got um, uh, two moguls. Two moguls, yeah. Like it, it's very, it's so rare for me. Is uh, I'm not sure what what's going on, but um, I really wanna, I want to have a lot of L3 and Cloud because I have three Cloud, and I have um, three L3 need to be TMR. You see, and that that is not gonna be uh, uh, for free, you know. 
Uh, so I'm trying to um, get that. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I, I, I got none of that. <laughs> I just got two for cloud and that's about it. Awesome. Awesome, man. Congratulations. What? Oh no, none. <laughs> For me, I got just two moguls. This is the rarest I can get so far from the raid. Uh, two five star, uh, f two five percent cloud moguls. The rest I was getting is just a bunch of uh, raid uh, units. Um, yeah. I guess you are extremely lucky down there. Yeah, absolutely. I, and, and the funny part that I got that at the beginning, you know, I got that like from first pull one and the second pull another one. So, okay, looks like uh, the, 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 rate, the drop rates are good. Then I start pulling, 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 and then it's like nothing so far. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> but that that's okay, I can uh, TMR grind that shit. So. Shout out to my friend uh, Magic Wand. Magic Wand 14, welcome to stream tonight. Thank you for uh, dropping in. Don't don't be shy and say hi to people in here. As you know, Slade um, uh, is a friend of mine and uh, Magic Juan as well. So you guys uh, don't shy from each other. Sam is with us on Skype tonight. Um, you guys are gonna hear him. Uh, he's taking a break as we speak. Uh, by the time he come back, he he drop us. Um, a challenge to make a core above 1300 attack and we will see if we can make that so it's laid down there's a bunch of games I'm going to start uh, playing soon. If you put explanation mark, um, uh, then um, game list, you're going to see the game I'm going to start playing. Maybe you are interested in some of these. Um, yeah, feel free. Uh, I have one and the other one on the way. Yep. I forgot to add uh, we may add um uh Metroid but I'm not sure on which device. Hmm. 
I'm back. Come back. Thank you. Um, with this, with with the uh, martial glove and uh, buster form, you go with fixed dice or for Titus. Also, you enhance Titus in the same time, magic one. Absolutely. Welcome back, uh, Mike. Um, a shout out for everybody in the stream Blade, Juan, Pickle and of course Sam uh, so right now what we are doing is that um, uh, doing the Sam Coder challenge we're trying to get core above 1300 attack so we will see what we can do about that well, with thirteen hundred and two demon killers, so two I would demon require killer. uh, Diablos and a demon killer. All right. <laughs> he has two and eight double hands, uh, and and I think a TDH. And part of his kit is also, uh, his he breaks the three hundred percent because one of his kits having a katana applies the stats to his gear not his base stats so he can actually be much easier broken than most units awesome um we will see what we can do um gonna replace no we're gonna need this guy in <laughs> uh, gonna probably replace yeah. joe and I, I i just want to say i i'm not sure his limit burst needs to be leveled but it's his limit burst that really makes him shine. He almost looks like Aang when his limit limit burst hits. Without any without any chain modifiers, he hits this boss for several million. If he has oh. above twelve, if he has above twelve hundred, he hits it. He hits this boss for several million. He can one shot it. So Core so, is from Final Fantasy fifteen. Um, he works for the king. Uh, Noctis' father. Um, he used to be called uh, the Immortal. Yeah. Right. This is how far I got in the game. Um, very strong unit in the game. Um, in Final Fantasy 15. Uh, but that's so far I know. Uh, let's see. And as far as we know. He is the only unit that we are aware of that can surpass the 300% uh, ATK modifier. It's only because some of his passives push the modifier over to his equipment, not to his stats. Right. So uh, that makes him easier to gear than most most units. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to try to this guy right now uh, I'm gonna try to do a fast build but I might yeah. be wrong in the build let's see what we can make um, so starting with this Sephiroth katana and then going down on the helm. Uh, we're gonna have depends on the, his kit. Does he have any equipment? Equipment specific. Uh, doesn't look a lot. Okay, so. This guy, um, body we get this one because I don't want to break my uh, friend unit, Noctis, and the accessory. 
gonna get El Freddy. That's 1200. I'm not sure right now whether or not we're gonna give him four. It is 1275. We're gonna okay, give him. There we go. There we go. Okay, Buster Form is an expedition. Right? So I can't take that, but I will try and get the Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. That's his 1354. This is above the Ask Required Challenge. So my my let me extend this because I think you hit the the required challenge at twelve hundred. Let me say put Diablo Sodom and a Demon Killer, and then achieve a limit burst, and then I want you to hit a limit burst on the raid bots, and let's see what the the fans think of how much damage he can pull off. Absolutely. Um, so I'm gonna see the emulator, what the emulator says uh, about my uh, gear. Um, so let's also not forget tonight, me and you, Sam, we're gonna work on uh, the project before we forget. Yeah. So. So right now what did the emulator says I would need buster style which I don't have right but my buster style okay so we are fighting a demon right yeah Let's see. absolutely so neither buster style or demon killer is actually in the list um they might be freed soon once and comes back um so let's see who came back from the expedition. Let's hope it's Ang. Hey, Kalipur. Kalerpu. Hey, Kalibur. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, as for tonight, we may uh, play a little bit Valkyrie profile just for your information. Um, oh yeah, and and came back. So that oh expedition failed. Oh my goodness, That's <laughs> a long uh, long expedition. Yet unfortunately. That's why we need the rank or pit. Yeah, so we got these guys gonna go. Okay. Bye. -bye. Now we can get Ang. Uh, equipment to uh, core. Um, Caliber pool, good for you. Um, if there is anywhere you want to go, go and pray for your God that because that's healthy. Okay, so we're gonna get this. We're gonna get katana mastery, right? So uh, I'm slowly trying to change his gear oh you're doing good um i'm trying not to get uh, into framing issues because when uh, the emulator for getting it uses your uh, cpu right um mm -hmm. so you guys don't drop frames let's see if i dropped any frames so far nope all right i'm good so uh, the emulator says i don't need two l 3d like like this setup I would need one only, right? And uh, here I can take this from Ang, and uh, I can get only. I need only one. The other one would be the Sun uh, Spirit because this guy have a Demon Killer. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So that's a Demon Killer right there. Yes, the attack had dropped drastically. But we're gonna pump it up in a second. Um, we're gonna get the Buster style. That should push everything above. Yeah. 
and then uh, we have uh, the katana mastery in here there we go oops ah where is k here we go k letter k is not easy to find all right um as we see he is probably above 300 percent because there is no much improvement it's like only 70 attack he gained so the big thing with uh core is that he gains one of he has a passive where i think with a katana his stats increase onto his gear rather than himself so that's really the thing and that's really what we got to work around in order to get the most attack possible so he differs from from most other units right it's not why i chose him the reason i chose him for my kids to to uh, as they just started playing this game had more to do with the fact that he was so easy to gear and he's so simple to play absolutely uh, uh so and that was part of my challenge was how high could we take him yeah uh, he can break the 300 percent only because he has a passive that allows some of the percentile of gear to move to his gear stats rather than his personal stats okay um i believe this is the bis core against the boss yeah, and, and by the way, I did do some testing. His limit burst at level 1 contends with Aang mm. in terms of his... Yeah, sorry. Training dummy, I had him at uh, uh, about 1,000 ATK. Oh. I had him pulling about 7 million personally. Oh. So that's what we're working against. So when we look at this boss with 4 million health, uh, we can one round him, obviously. But if we built his limit burst, if you use Slaughtering Blade, which uh, gives him a LB buff, um, I'd be really interested to see what type of damage we could pull from this. Do you want to use that in the chain or without chain? It don't matter. I just want to see the uh, the the raid boss killed because the raid boss is a demon. So, for example, my my uh, share, as you all know, I did the stupid thing and shared my core <laughs> for my kids. Uh, that's fine. To make it easier. Um, uh, so mine is plus 1,200, getting on 1,300. And I did that for an easy kill of the boss for my children. But uh, I'd be really, I have not yet needed to use a limit burst, but I'd be really interested to see what a 1300 ATK core could do to this boss if it had double demon killer. Yeah, uh, by all means, um, I'm going to remove my Noctis and I'm going to put something more useful so the new players that uh, they get uh easier time against the boss yeah um so right now i'm gonna just do single core with nothing just himself and we will see how much damage he would do okay 100 percent. 100 percent. i don't know what's the animation of the skill so i'm gonna turn on the animation and we're gonna enjoy the graphic he's very quick he's he's almost instantaneous on most skills by the way <laughs> all right just bam Bam. <laughs> Here we go, some music. Okay, so he basically does 13% uh, on his uh, slaughtering uh, skill. Um, given fact, this boss do actually have a high defense, a little bit higher defense than uh, the most bosses uh, we in, uh, most raid bosses we encountered so far so for that we're gonna 
just try to fill up his LB. See if we can do that. Noctis would tank for us. See if we can do that. Hopefully. Guys, don't die on me. Alright. We got 13% on the airline's first hit, so that's good. Positive. Alright, so <laughs> now the LB is up. Uh, we can use the LB. And we see uh, how much we can get out of that. There you go. So that is 32% uh, with no chaining. So basically, on that, that's a lot of damage, actually. Uh, He's got his LB. Okay, now we need a chain cap. Chain cap this. That's what I want to see because Ch he chain is... cap his LB. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Because his LB is really strong. Absolutely. Look at that. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. I'm just gonna heal the team. Um, see what I can do to mitigate this boss damage because this guy is not easy, actually. Um. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope everybody survives. Ouch. Ouch. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, well, didn't work as planned. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm right now, I'm just going to try to get some uh, coins out of him. Yeah, basically, uh, next run, we will have a better deal. Um, might get a support just to, to mitigate the magic damage out of this guy. Just since it does a lot of magic damage. <laughs> he uh, does. So, uh, with his chain uh, approximation, he would do uh, about... or 5 million perfect chain he should be able to one shot the boss absolutely uh, that was kind of my calculation too um about just... his blade he would be able to do like 50 percent of the boss slaughtering the blade um for the boss i would say the best killer for this boss might be Tidus. Tidus might be the best fit for this fight. For this raid. Wish I had one. <laughs> uh, but that he's not alone into this. He, actually, another unit is very, very effective. Is Virtus of the Light. Virtus of the Light, I would say, is probably the most effective against this boss, as far as I know, right? Yeah. So if we put Virtus of the Light in, I have one leveled, and I have two leveled. She simply can just maybe in two turn, two turn the boss giving enough defenses. Um, so Virtus of the Light, she will use Ramo, because Ramo now have a demon killer. And I assume she would need to use um, the first mouthpiece. Uh, she hits with light anyway. Uh, the, the raid boss, I believe, have even defensives. So it doesn't really matter if you go uh, if you go um, uh, mag or attack, most likely you want to go even because the defense is even, right? Uh, let me see the boss defensives. He is even, 50-50, all right? 
Um, so the previous bosses, they used to have 25 defense, 25 spirit, 40 defense, 40 spirit. This is the highest one we get. Actually, one of the highest also hitters, 340 attack. That's not easy. Uh, Shiva, you have 440 mag. So this guy is so close to Shiva's mag. Shiva three stars. I'm talking about. Um, so that being said, uh, let's try and gear up this beast. Um, uh, actually, I'm not sure how to gear her up, but because because um, hyper users are the most tricky users, right? Uh, they depends a lot on their skills, the set, the target. Um, what you can do, what you cannot. Uh, let me see, Esper Ramo, what we get out of him. Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you for saving my my day. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm, I'm I'm debating whether uh, Diablo or uh, Ramo would do, uh, but seems Ramo have a better killer maybe. Oh, it's just fifty percent. So probably um, Diablo would do for her because he would have a he would have um, dark resistance. Uh, the uh, cursed mouthpiece is gonna give her more uh, demon killer. Um, she will be dual wield, I believe. So she's gonna get the demon out of this weapon uh, accessory. Um, most likely ring of Lucy. A her weapons would be. I'm not sure how can I do this. Um. Let's see Virtus of the Light and what she's uh, what's her what's what's in her kit, right? So uh, fifty mag on throwing weapons and fifty attack on guns. So she needs a throwing weapon, right? And a gun. All right. So okay. So we have over the top, and the strongest gun probably is 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 uh, what that guy is named from Final Fantasy Twelve, I believe. <sighs> so that's a I believe good set. Then we get um. Some um, roundabout uses. So we're gonna have the boss is demon. So we, I don't see demon in here. So we're not gonna get Barbarica. Um, however, we have two demon, two demon uh, TMR. I just cast that demon banisher and. Demon Slayer. Demon Killer, sorry. Um, then the last TMR would be... It should be something that is... What is of the light? Or TMR? Or th there was something 30% attack, 30% uh, mag. That would be awesome to use. It was something for um, uh, Maxwell. I remember I have two of that. It was uh, mineral something it's called. Uh, my god, getting old. I can't remember all my TMRs. Was this? Can't remember. 
Hey. Here we go. General offensive. Awesome. General offensive. So I might be wrong, but oh shit! This is this is the weaker uh, Virtus. Wait, is it? Wait, what? It's twenty and thirty. Let's see. I have two of her, so I wanna double check. Uh, I was just looking for uh. The TMR gives you attack and mag at the same time, but I guess I found it. It was general offensive. Um, so I have this second one. I'm not sure of her details. Okay, so I, I do have the best uh, Virtus of Light. Mm, we can go and give that a shot. Uh, so basically her damaging skills would be first she will use the domination and the second one will be Saint Buster, I guess. Or Divine Shot, Domination, then Saint Buster. We'll see how that rules. So first we're gonna uh gonna refresh the grid. Uh, Sam, are you alive? Are you with us? Uh, it seems Sam having a little bit difficulty down there. Uh, we're gonna have Ayaka just for maybe you see someone else, maybe someone with the dark resistance. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna have Ayaka, then we can give it a shot. So Ayaka basically she won't do much. We are just testing a Virtus of the Light. We're gonna give her some Okay and then Virtus of Light. You will do Domination the first hit and then we're gonna do the Buster on the second. Okay, that's three percent. Four did better, I would say. Um, four did way better than what she did. Then she's going to have Saint Buster. So we'll see how that would go. There you go. Then we're gonna try to fill up her uh, limit burst. Seems my tank is confused. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna list everyone. Ace is down. Um, we're gonna reduce the light. That's that's quite amount of damage down there. Interesting. Uh, Mayaka fell down. Which friend Ayaka is that? I'm gonna remove him from my friend list. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna do, I guess, domination again. Gonna get back Ayaka. Nope. 
Even Verdes of the Light didn't do much. Um, probably Core was a better fit for this fight. Uh, uh, well, we can't help it, I guess. Uh, yeah, if I put Cho instead, so if we get like Idises, put Cho in here, we're fine. Okay. So uh, who else, guys, you want to test against the boss? Do you guys have anything in mind? Six dice, Titus, absolutely, absolutely. So we're gonna go with a friend who have a fixed dice, Titus, I believe. Oops, no, he does not. So we're gonna get a friend, uh, we find a friend with fixed dice, Titus. I don't have enhanced Titus. So uh, my Titus might not be the best. Fix dice Titus with only one glove. Uh, you asking so much, you magic one. I'm just kidding. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see if I find one. But I can make one for you. Uh. But I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna enhance him, right? Uh. This guy. This guy. This guy. You see his attack is low as a fixed dice. Oh, well, yes, he have two gloves, but you can we can scale him down a bit. Do you agree with this? Magic one. All right. Okay, since everybody happy, uh, we're gonna go with this plan. So we're gonna get Cho to tank for us um, against this guy. Go with this. We get this. Alrighty, there we go. This should be easy, easy, easy for Titus. Like so, so easy. So you want to see it, uh, so we're going to first round, we're going to do it without chain and see how much Titus can do, right? Um, everybody will, will block and Titus would do without chain. Next turn, Titus would chain and we see how much that would, oh, well, with chain he, he would one shot the boss anyway. So let's go. Boom. Almost 50%. All right, Slade, thank you so much for dropping in tonight. I uh, was happy seeing you around. Good luck and uh, take care. Um, yeah. So you saw uh, Titus did like 40... 8% of the boss no buffs no breaks no nothing uh, basically with breaks and buffs he would do more however the boss went havoc and Noctis killed my uh, killed Titus um, so we will try to, to finish the boss if possible I don't think that is uh, that's gonna happen.
Oh, here we go. We kill him. Awesome. So Virtus of Light is actually good. He made it. Um. Yeah. So you saw that. If I find another friend with fixed dice, Tidus, we're gonna grab him. But I assure you, Tidus is the one of the strongest ever for six in six stars with fixed dice. I assure you that. So this guy is dual wield, and he's using a man eater. Okay. Uh, it's not gonna be effective against the boss, but we will see. All right. Um, the reason is a fixed dice Tidus is a finisher, right? I do have a stronger finisher than fixed dice uh, Tidus, right? Um, so that being said. Don't be discouraged. It's just that I, I simply I have a stronger finisher. That's that's all actually. So for example, I have um, Ang, right? Um, Ang is basically can do on this boss. He might be able to do um, mm, might not be much because he doesn't have Demon Killer, but he could technically do 50 million on this boss by second turn and right um, it's just simply Ang is strong too strong um, that once I got him and use him a bit I was like you know what I am not gonna use any other unit done I'm done you know um, so we could give Ang a shot if you want uh, but Ang required a setup you know Ang is one of the unit that you cannot go and simply just like oh you know what I am just gonna turn one KO. No, Ang doesn't do one turn KO whatsoever. Okay. Literally he does not do one turn KOs. Um so uh let's see. Let's see what I can put on Ang. So Ang would need few gear. So we need to take some of the gear of core. Then we're gonna get the Buster style. Then Demon Killer. Adventurer, then something with high attack, I would say. Um, Azur with the Azur. So that's for him. Um, 
Cho, he would have a Riku. Well, no. Uh, one of the uh, one of the Onion Knights will have Riku pouch. Right, set up. Set up Angs LB. Uh. Uh, turn four, Marlboro. I can try, but I don't have a proper Santoto. I have a Barbie. Barbie is is there, but Santoto is not. Um, I can show you a good. I I can set up a Barbie for you, so it can help you. So right now what we're going to try to do is uh, we are trying to um, give Ang Limit Burst and we successfully did that on turn 1 thanks to Tidus. So what we're going to do now, we're going to test Ang's LB as is. No buffs, no debuffs, no nothing. Plain, plain LB. Okay, and let's see how much that would do. Boom, 3.7 million. No buffs, no nothing. See that? No chain, no whatsoever. Uh, I I have I have uh, I have a tactic for that. I have a tactic. Um, what I can do for this is um, uh, I I can do it in two t in in like uh, two turns or so. What I can do I can take um, Vertus of Light. Right, and uh, she will break the boss. Probably turn uh, turn two, maybe. Right. So let's see. We get a recoup out. Okay. So this is a good so so what happened is Vertus of Light she gonna break the boss with seventy four percent defense. These two will chain and Ang will finish. And let's see how much damage we can take we how much damage we can make out of this. Right? This is just a demonstration to how strong Ang can can be. He is very dangerous. So 
So we didn't get the LB we want. Um, basically, we may need to wait a few turns to get that done, I guess. Oh, actually, actually, she is ready. Okay. Okay, we are good. So, what I'm gonna do now, Virtus of Light, she gonna do her stuff, and Onion Knights, they gonna chain. And let's see how much damage we can do out of this. Right? So, so, I, don't make, so I don't make things complicated. Um... I'm going to turn on Virtus of Light first, and uh, I believe she will not be able to take down the boss, maybe. But let me see. Um, Virtus of Light. Um, what's her LB name? Down of Adjustment. Uh, the judgment. Uh, it doesn't show when I can use that. However, I am expert with this type of chaining, so I am going to, to I know when I can invoke my team to do the finish. Um, so I'm going to do this in a second. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready to see the damage of Ang? Even though he's not buffed, he's nothing. He's just like, he's just gonna go raw with his own damage and chain plus debuff. So he's missing, uh, he's missing two things. He's missing uh, fire resistance in peril and he's missing uh, buff on himself. So first, what you do in this kind of chain, you click on Fire Vertus, and once you go here, and then you do the other team. Boom. You saw that? 57 million. And this team is not even prepared for your info. This team is not whatsoever prepared for this fight. I'm just like making things on the fly. You see that? So it's like 73 million. So yeah, as I, I knew Ang can do 50 million plus on this boss. Uh, with Fire and Peril with buffs, Ang would do easily like, I don't know, it's just ridiculous amount of damage. It's just, he should be able to do like, maybe um, with the perfect scenario, he could do like 100 million. Yeah. I <clears throat> I actually made with Ang 200 million damage one time. Believe it or not. 200 million. Right? So that's that's the reason why I don't have fixed dice Titus. Okay, um, as for now, I believe we are set uh, for FFBE. We, I will try to turn on and play a little bit for tonight, for like half an hour. I will try to play uh, Valkyrie Profile, okay? Uh, So that being said, 
I'm gonna turn off Mimo and try to run the game. Um, that might take a few minutes because I I I saw that it's it's not straightforward to um do such thing. Play it on uh, Mimo. I might need to download Blue Stack. Okay. All right, uh, Magic One, thank you for dropping in. Good luck and uh, bon appetit. Uh, take care. Um, yeah, basically, uh, right now I'm gonna turn on off Mimo, so you guys won't see that. 